Hi, uh, this video is for those people who are going to appear for ADC Part 2 exam and are wondering from where to start and what to do. Uh, I'm sure if you are going to take a course, you will know. But those people who doesn't want to take a course, don't want to take a course right now and want to practice by themselves. It's especially for that option to candidates, which I explained in my previous video. Like me, who have a very short duration to go for a course and then my practice by themselves. Uh, a short summary of uh, which words to use, use for which task. I mean, it's up to you what you can use and what you're comfortable with. But the way I have realized and which has helped me in doing my tasks, I'm just going to share my tips. Uh, then it's absolutely up to you how you would like to go about it. So have a word box, especially for the ADC. When ADC will give you something like this, I guess. And I'll tell you which words to use for what. So this burr, it has a diameter of 1 mm. So this is a probe which you must have, okay? It's, this is a probe with gradings. And, and the first black mark, the starting of the first black mark, okay? Not the ending of the first black mark. The starting of the first black mark is 1 mm. And, and you, you will be using this probe 100 times, like 100,000 times to see your crown prep and other things because uh, criteria are very well defined. For example, the buckle margin of your preparation should be, say, uh, 1 mm, 1 1.2 mm. So this probe is going to help you assess whether you have done it properly or not. So the diameter of this burr is one mm see okay so this is a round ended burr and it's a small straight fissure burr this will be used for refining the margins of your crown pep okay you can use this burr for it let me show you uh, one of the crown preps that i have done it will help you understand the use of this burr just a second So this is what I was doing right now. My crown is setting, so I thought I'll just shoot a quick video. Today only I shot a video of how type two candidates like me should <laughs> appear who have a lot of uh, other responsibilities as well. And then that made me feel why not I extend some of my tips what I'm doing. Not that I know if it's gonna work for me to clear my exam or not, but I'm just trying to help you see. So if you see this, margin this is how you assess the margin of your prep so 1.2 it should be according to the adc criteria 1.2 to 1.5 is the satisfactory criteria so you see when it's passing my black mark it means it's definitely past 1 mm and the ending of the black mark would be like 1.2 or 1.3 so this this is how you will assess you know your markings on the lingual side it should be between 0.5 to 1 mm so you see it's it's not even crossing my black mark here it's just at the start of my black mark or little less than that if you see very carefully which is again well within the criteria so i'm not here judging my prep or something i'm just trying to show you the usage of this probe you know so uh, this this is a very important probe so when you know the diameter of the burr you know how much you are preparing so Basically, when you will be preparing and you'll be finishing this, so this burr should fit very well here. That means you have just crossed one mm, you know. If if the burr is not fitting, like on the lingual side, for example, see, the, the entire diameter of the burr does not fit, you know, it's slipping here. That means great, it's not crossed one mm, which is what I want on the lingual side. But on the label side, I want it to cross one mm. And my burr is nicely sitting in this area. You understand so uh, this burr is used to refine the margins very very important burr okay then we come on to the next burr which is which is your straight burr now this this burr is also 1 mm in diameter and a lot of people are using this burr to prepare the entire buckle margin of the crown the occlusal portions of the crown 
i was also doing that until i realized that i am much better off with this burr where is that burr it's a tapered fisher burr all right this now i think the adc people are going to give you a long tapered burr which is round ended but it's tapered and the diameter of this burr is 0.8 mm all right now when it is 0.8 mm it's a really good burr to prepare your lingual margin because 0.5 to 1 mm is acceptable here okay so you see it's nicely fitting here it's it's like not crossing too much excess so i know this is like 0.8 range it will also be useful for my proximal reduction because proximal has to be 1 mm okay so when i'll be refining my crown if i am able to reduce 0.8 in the first go 0.2 mm more i'll be refining my prep with you understand so this is a very important burr for me it's it's round ended and it's tapered so this is another burr which i am very thankful to have this yellow burr is a finishing burr again for finishing of the margins this is a pear shaped burr which again you can use for smoothing out the edges you know like this so crown prep mostly requires these burrs now if i am coming to an endo prep let me share with you an endo book endo tooth rather not book yeah so this is one of my endo preps you see this uh i'm not talking about how to make a prep here i'm just telling you what burrs to use so endo prep just requires two burrs i mean that's what i've been told and that's what i've been practicing with and pretty much decently managing first is the round burr this one can you see is it clear yeah so with the round burr first you're going to make a ditch just extend a little bit and then what you're going to do is you're going to use this endo z burr now to show you this burr properly yeah now you can see it has a blunt end you see this is a non cutting end and it's it's a carbide burr it goes in your air rotor and you have to use it very slowly and this entire cavity prep is done using this burr so once you put a ditch you will extend it like this extend it like this and extend it like this yeah believe me or not it's it's a very small prep and it takes almost 40 minutes to do it <laughs> like so slow you have to go you know so you see the pulpal floor has not been damaged because it's it's not a not it's the end is blunt like it's non cutting there are no diamonds or flutes over it so so this is how my endo prep looks like and uh, these two are the burrs that i would use for it coming to amalgam for amalgam you don't need a burr what you need are instruments because it would be already machine cut but yeah after machine cut you'll have to put the grooves and for grooves you can put it through either a straight burr or a round burr like this whatever you prefer and i'll i'll just show you how my amalgam prep example looks like not that is the best of the preps okay this is just of my practice preps so you would definitely need a condenser you would need a toffel mire so this is a condenser and um, adc has given you all the instruments that they are going to give you in the exam so might as well have the same set of instruments when you are practicing this this is a carver which you will be using this is a burnisher i'm sure you're aware of this and uh, yeah pretty much these instruments and there's the prep now i always wished i had one of my mentors uh, you know whenever they showed me how to they gave me a demo and then that's it then i'm practicing on my own uh, but they did give me a lot of pictures of their preparations i always wished that uh, as a candidate if i'm practicing at home it was nice if i could just have uh, models of those demo teeth you know so i was thinking uh, it's a good idea if your mentors could give you or i was thinking once i'm done with my exam 
if if you people wish to have the models of you know just to keep to for a reference purpose how it should look like for example uh, you know you could have all the six six task prepared teeth with you like one of the crown preps one amalgam prep one crown prep this this is a composite prep you know so you could always see and reference like how it is supposed to look like because giving a demo once all the things that you're supposed to know don't get often registered in your brain like if somebody is going to give me a demo and tell me 15 things related to it i may not remember all 15 of them you know and when i'm coming home to practice by myself it's it's always good to have a reference and to look oh this is how it is supposed to look like you know maybe i can improve on my this aspect and that aspect so i was thinking this is one thing that i could do so uh yeah just sharing with you if you think that's a good idea just leave in the comments you know uh in near future i plan to prepare kits for adc because uh for instruments and birds and uh, packet it nicely and i uh, like you know sell it because so far i know only two manufacturers or other retailers selling it uh navda and one dental and wow the prices are amazing like i don't think the birds are that expensive as they put it to be uh, but of course when i'm trying to practice for my exam i would like to have the exam related birds and it's very difficult to find each and individual of it so imagine just somebody sending you off directly a set and uh, how many birds do you need of each probably four or five not more than that because they are plastic teeth so they don't wear off your birds very easily because they are so super soft like a butter to cut it's not like the actual teeth where you use the bird three times and then it's gone so just three or four or maximum five set of each bird is just enough so i i think that that's a good idea that's why i'm sharing this video to know your opinions uh so yeah this was about that uh and coming back to the birds now for composite polishing you know you'll have those so flex discs and these are enhanced points these are very expensive you know and they wear out so fast uh but when you go on to buy they give you 20 of these i don't think so you need 20 of it i think you just need four or five of it so if you have your own clinic and you have materials at your disposal great but if you are studying by as an if you're practicing by yourself you wish to buy then it's just good to have quantity just sufficient enough not extra then after you are done with your exam you'll have to search for people to buy it off you otherwise it's just a waste you know because not often you use this thing at least i don't use in my practice probably because i'm exclusive pedo but all those others who are using this on a regular basis is great for you and then uh yeah so these are the birds that i mostly use i don't think so i will use anything else though i have kept it here for kerry's excavation i heavily depend on this round burr i heavily depend on my straight burr i heavily depend on this it's it's a carbide bar the round carbide bar there are people who do it with micro motor as in um, the slow speed hand piece you know i have those birds as well but i don't use them somehow i'm not comfortable with it because it creates a lot of debris and there's no water it doesn't wash off and i have to spray extra water so flex discs i will show you how they look i'm sure you know probably all about it but just this very important one it's it's going to be used so nicely for your amal oh, sorry composite polishing uh very important tool to have the mandrel and the disc so this is a must in your burr box so i hope this video was helpful i am planning to prepare a kit of all the hand instruments like these or if not just a bird set like this and i'm planning to ship it off to all those candidates who want to prepare at home somehow i am very inclined to help those candidates who have lot of other responsibilities and cannot abandon things and still want to clear the exam so yeah just a gesture to them uh let me know if you found this helpful thank you